Yo guys and girls there, well, welcome back to Dr. Dave. So today is the day that we get to finally test out the 2080 Super. So I am well chuffed, brand new graphics card in the PC. Finally, it's only taken, I oh don't know, the best part of a year to finally get a 20 series card. Oh, we're finally there. Yo, Hazza, welcome to the stream. Yo, Bruno, how is it going? Uh, Right, so we are going to jump into a bit of Euro Truck. So I hope you're all having a great day so far. And I am going to grace you with the beautiful Scania 143. And there she is. Bonjour, everybody. So here is my beautiful Scania 143. We did build this in the last episode, but we did not go and do a delivery with her. She is the Scania 143 at 500. So there she is. So we are currently rocking a 2080 Super. And I've got to say the graphics are looking amazing. Yo Cornish, how is it going me Janner? Ah, oh, finally, my license plate is finally on the 143. I've been waiting for that to happen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look. There she is. Twenty eighty Subar. Right. Yo, T Rock has gam, bro. Haha, <laughs> it's raining. Oh, oh. Well, we got blistering sunshine where I am at the moment. But yep, yeah, there we go. So that is the ROML Cargo Scania 143. We are going to go and take her out for a run. So we need to go and find a job. That would probably help. Right, freight market. Let's find something. Oh, no, no, no. Hold up a minute. I forgot to click on Londinium. Right, so where are we going to go? Oh, obviously, we're going to take the crane. No brainer, come on. Dave loves heavy haul, and there is a big crane, so we are going to take that. I am absolutely buzzing that I've got a Scania 143 back again. We did have the Scania T cab before. Yes, I am, 7 o'clock. We are doing a multi, a multi VTC convoy tonight. Uh, Dr. Dave Logistics and um, Clem and Haulage are meeting up at London, server two at 7 p.m. So if you want to come and join us for a trucking session this evening, seven o'clock, server two, London Red Spanner. As say, Clem and Haulage and Dr. Dave and and the Monkey Clan, we're all going to go on a drive this evening. So like I said, you want to be there, be there. If you don't, then you are a bit of a square. 
can say I am really really looking forward to driving this truck it has been a long while since I drove a 143 because we have been driving the Scania T cab right so back inside let's go and let's start getting our load Ah, uh, unlucky T-Rock, man. Well, I'm sure you can join us another time, bro. You know, we always convoy on a Saturday at 7pm. I know this is going to sound really, really strange, but one thing I have noticed since changing from the 10, the 10 series to the 20 series graphics card I don't know if it's me or my eyes or what, but honestly, the blacks, you know, like when you buy a new TV or a screen, you would go in and you would tune the colours so the blacks are black, you know, for the, the maximum contrast that you can get on a screen. But since I put this 20 series card in, I haven't tweaked anything and the blacks seem a lot deeper you know, the, the colours look more vibrant. It, it looks almost perfect. I say it is really, really strange. Well, Hazza, I'm sure at some point you will get them pedals replaced and you will come and join us on a journey. The one thing I am going to miss about the Scania T-Cab is it had rear crab steering on it. And this is going to be quite weird because this truck doesn't have crab steering on it and I've got to now get used to not having that crab steering on. So it's going to be a lot more movement on the wheel where I only had to turn the wheel like a quarter of a turn and it would do a full lock before. Are we ready to go and do some trucking? Here's my baby little Scania 143 and a massive, massive crane. So here we go. There is the Mahusive crane on the back of the baby 500 Scania 143 let's go and get out on the road I absolutely love this truck. I mean, what's the stream looking like out there, guys? Come on, talk to me. Come with me, Cornishman. It's good or better than it was before. Good is not really an answer. I mean, these graphics are running on ultra and 400 times scaling as well. So, I mean, the, the graphics going out to you guys should be absolutely amazing. Better than before. That's much better.
Take it easy, T-Rock. See you soon. I've got to make sure that this um, this load don't pull over the Scania because uh, the Scania is a lot lighter than the actual load. So if I go around the corner too fast, it will pull the truck over. Oh shit, speeding. I have to pull over in a minute and check my uh, force feedback settings. Feels like I got like a notch in the middle of the wheel. Feels really weird. Yo, matey. You joining us later, bro? So that's why I can't wait to upgrade this wheel because when you get to the centre, because it's because this is cog driven, not belt driven, it's really weird. Uh, no worries, Matty. As I say, I mean, we'll probably be on till I don't know, maybe ten ish, maybe eleven o'clock. Depends, because uh, Jade's not feeling all that well. Neither am I. So. We might uh, we might jump on and stay on. Excuse me, stay on later. So if you are about a bit later, trying to tweak this wheel so I don't get that stupid like notchy feeling in the middle of the wheel. See how we go with that. That seems to have cured it. We'll see what it's like when we start actually driving. Can't see out of my passenger's window because there's rain all over it and I can't see if there's any traffic there. We're going to have to try and get up to speed and uh, pull out and hopefully we don't whack into anything. Uh, we're starting at 7 o'clock mate, so we're meeting a London Red Spanner Server 2. Well, it went from being blistering sunshine on the game to absolutely pissing it down with rain, so...
Diablaves. Yeah, the only problem with Server 1 is Server 1's quite buggy for a lot of people as well, Matty. That's why we tend to stay away from Server 1. And also, like, I know that they had all good intentions of bringing Pro Mods to MP and everything else, but the amount of lag that it creates is, is ridiculous. I mean, we get lag spikes on on single player, let alone like playing pro mods on multiplayer as well. I mean, we do do it sometimes, like especially if we're going to go down the uh, the canyon dirt road, like into the quarry. How you doing, Lavis? Ah, uh, one of them, is it? Did I tell Jade? Uh, I don't know. Depends what you're talking about. Um, I can't remember if I did or I didn't, Lavis, to be honest. I normally do talk to her about most things. So we spent most Harley and Jade spent most of yesterday in uh, in A and E. Ah, oh, come on, Lavish, you gotta come truck in tonight, bro. Ain't seen you in ages. Do you some good to actually have a conversation with someone.
Yo, diesel, diesel, diesel. Too bad, Diesel. Bit snotty and a uh, bit of a sore throat, but other than that, I'm all good, man. How are you doing, Diesel? Buddy. Yeah man, I'm uh, well happy with it, Lavis, I really am. I say I'm going to go back and check the stream out once I've finished. Yeah, definitely come trucking later, Lavis, even if you, uh... No, no, I'm not running the, uh, 2060 at the minute. Just running on the 2080. Let's say the MVENC chip on the 2080 is, um, like, double the capacity of the 10 series, so... Yeah, sure, mate. There she is. bit dark at the minute so when we uh, when it gets down to full daylight we'll uh, we'll do another show on the outside
Yeah, Lavis, this is running on Ultra. And it's running um, 400 times scaling on it as well, so... I mean, the colours, like... I can tell the difference between the cards, mate, honestly. The colours in the game now, compared to running on a 10 series card, it, it doesn't look so washed out. Can you not? Did your 2070 not an 8 gig card as well? And also I'm running on low latency on the stream with main uh, on, so low latency and main and then on YouTube I've got it set to low latency on YouTube as well Seems to be running like a dream at the minute. See you in a big, big, <laughs> a bit, <laughs> I thought that's what you meant. Oh really? Here look, I'll just pull over for a sec. Yo Graham. Right, so, Lavis, have a look at this mirror. Look at the clarity of the mirror. Look at the sunset. Like, it is madness. Honestly. Look, look, at, look at the sunset in the background. How's it going, Graham? Welcome! I mean, look, look. Look at the clarity and the detail in the, in the truck. Honestly, it's absolute fucking madness, mate. say honestly just just looking at the mirror like just a mirror on its own like that that you you don't understand going from I used to have to run this game on medium graphics and now I'm running on ultra 400 times scaling so when I run on medium there was no way that you would have that amount of detail in the mirror you know, it looks like you're looking in a real mirror on a real vehicle. That's how good it looks. 
I say Graham that that's the that's the 2080 super that I put in yesterday mate um, I say I'm I'm well chuffed with it the traffic ain't gonna let me out I think I'm gonna get pushed off this junction Oh, he's stopping to let me across. Thank you very much, bro. Say, so when it comes round to daylight, because I'm going to drop this load off, and then I'm going to sleep, and then I'll show you. Like, I mean, honestly, look at the colours in the sky. For God's sake, like, there was no way when I used to drive before that the colors in the sky were that detailed look I, I couldn't even see the clouds before it was just like a whitewash no worries Bruno uh, Lee you about later I mean, look at the dashboard. Look at the dashboard. Like, look. We're uh, we're doing a convoy from um, London Red Spanner Server Two, seven o'clock. If you're about. say I mean look I mean even look at the look at the mirror on the far side <sighs> honestly it's it's madness No, it goes blurry when you look at, when you're on medium settings and you look at the dashboard. It is proper blurry. Afternoon, Taza.
Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Hello, lads. Sorry about that. Thanks for the heads up there, uh, Kev. How are we all doing then? Right, gonna have to shunt her forward. Nice one, brother. You're not gonna be an awkward shit now, aren't you? Yep, 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 you are. So I had crab steering on the on the T cab, so it weren't so bad. Don't you be falling asleep at the wheel, you dozy pants. Bishty bashty boshty, she's in the gappy gappy gappy. Right. Beautiful. Fucking hell! Everybody hide, there's a stranger in here! Fucking shit the bed! Nah, 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 I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. I'm delirious. Nope, nope. He's still there. He, he's still there. Hello, Sniff. Shit the fucking bed, Fred. Where the fuck have you been hiding? We're going to do some victory donuts to, for seeing Sniff. Victory drift. <laughs> right, we gotta go and find a bed stop somewhere because we need a sleep. Where you been hiding, Snicker? Right, is there a rest stop? Yes, there is. Just around the corner. You still sweating on 5M, are you, Sniff? Glad to hear it, bro. It's been fucking forever since I've seen you. Uh, yo, Irish, how's it going, bro? Sniff has coronavirus. <laughs> he is the coronavirus. What are you talking about?
Right, so I said that when we get to the next stop, I would show you around my truck. So here she is. She is a Scania 143M 500. And she is the ROML cargo for Europe and Asia. That's the paint skin I decided to choose this time around. She's got the, the light box on the roof. Some air horns on the side. Now this, these air horns that are on the side of the truck here. Why can't we have this in MP? Well, Snickerdoodle, well, you know what to do. It's about time you got your fucking ass back into trucking, son. We're doing a convoy this evening with Clib and Haulage and DDL. London Red Spanner, server two. No excuses. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, I am running now an i9 processor with the um, 2080 Super graphics card. I'm currently running the graphics at like maxed out and the uh, the detail the detail is amazing I mean even even just to look at the sky up there you can see the clouds and it's not just like a white haze Woo! so when you're coming are you gonna come and join us tonight then sniff No, it's not even that sniff. It's not even that, mate. I wish it was. No, my 1080, my 1080 graphics card broke. So that's back with the manufacturer to be repaired or replaced. And I was like, well, I need a graphics card. So then I got a 2070 and a 2060 and put both of them in that in my computer. And I ran two graphics cards, which are currently here. So this was the ten. This was the ten seventy. <coughs> then this was the ten sixty. So I had both of these running in the PC, and then I spoke to Jade, and I was like, "Look, I said, you know, like need to move with the times, and I need to upgrade." And um, this card was seven hundred and seven hundred. 740 I think I paid for it I mean I paid 650 for my 10 my 1080 oh hell yeah sniff Uh, where am I? Hang on, two six. Yeah, man, the graphic the graphics look really nice. So I've managed to uh, let's just flick on the display capture quickly. So this is what my machine now looks like, Sniff. Harley's not well. She's got a throat infection, and we all definitely know about it because we're on lack of sleep and close to eardrums bursting so <laughs> ah it's all good man 
It's nice to actually fucking hear from you, but Sniff. It really is. Well, yeah, it... I say this computer has has been in the making for the last three years. You know, three years of building this machine that you can see on the screen right now. Do you want to know the only two original parts, well, three original parts that are left on that machine from when I built this machine three years ago? Can anybody guess what only three components are left on that machine? That is the next plan, Sniff. That is the next plan. You got one right so far, Tezza. That's the power supply. That power supply was the power supply that I bought three year ago. There's also two other bits in that machine. So I'll, I'll tell you, right, so the power supply the RAM and the rainbow cables that are in that machine. That is the only thing that is left from my original build three years ago. Yeah, the only the only problem is Sniff, if I um if I don't have it zoomed in, like what you're seeing is you're seeing one out of three screens. Hang on two secs, let me uh, turn the display capture back off. Right, yeah, so you're, you're seeing one of three screens. So if you look over here, there's the wing mirror, and if I have the wing mirror in shot, the whole cab's off centre. So I have to have that wing mirror on the, on the other screen. So you guys can actually see out of the windscreen, so... But then you've obviously got the rest of the dashboard over here. You've got the other. Let's say you're now, you're now seeing what would be on the other screen, which is, it's the opposite way to what I'm pointing because the, when I'm pointing, it's kind of mirrored. But yeah, that is the plan. I've already got the capture card to capture it, sniff. Yeah, so this is the right screen, and then obviously this is the left screen, and then what you see here is the middle screen. I say I've already purchased the capture card, which is the uh, Elgato HD 60S. No, the webcam doesn't capture the colours properly. It makes everything look all wishy-washy. I did try once before with the um, with the webcam, but it doesn't look very nice. I mean, you can change the canvas. Um, if I was to do this, uh, transform bit to. Uh, why is it not doing it? Uh, where am I? Game capture. If I was to do bit to screen, that is the whole view. That's how I originally started playing trucking, was like this. But, watch this. Can you see the ripple effect across the buildings? There's like a really weird ripple effect. And the only problem is, if you're watching on a mobile phone, it looks really, really tiny. I mean, like, the image that you're seeing if you're watching on a computer, you obviously see the black bars at the top and the bottom. 
But as I say, the only problem is, is when you're watching on a mobile device or something like that, it looks proper fucked up. So that's why we have to just go with the single screen. I mean, we could do it. We could do it like that. Gives you a bit more of a view. But again, I don't know if it will start doing that ripple effect shit. So you can see like um I say it's still doing that weird ripple effect though, that's the only downside. But yeah, the plan the plan is to um, eventually go down the uh, the GoPro route. To say I don't I don't fancy wearing it on me head though, so it'll probably be like on a on a tripod beside me, so it views all three screens. Yo, how's it going, man? Yeah, no, no, no. I say I, um, I have been looking at it for a long time, mate. All right, Davros, got you on the telly while waiting for me dad to go to a caller. Ah, no worries. Yeah, I've got a tripod already. I've also bought a lighting kit as well. So I've got uh, two um, LED spotlights. Right, looks like I'm going to have to love you and leave you guys because Harley has woken up and she is not very well at the moment. So I'm just going to park the truck up. Jay, you about later. say you can tell this this webcam is pretty shit like uh, focusing and stuff like that so you can imagine what it's like pointing at a screen yeah no sniff um definitely if you're about tonight jump in server server one uh server two server two at uh 7 p.m we'll all be meeting up to go trucking Yeah, take it easy, Graham, Sniff, Tezza, JC. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. And as always, I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing, and we will catch you later. Sniff, drop me a message, bro. Right, I'm out of here. As I say, I've got to go and deal with the little uh, little bush baby. She's Like I said, she's not very well. She was at the hospital most of the day yesterday. She's got a throat infection, so she's on antibiotics and all of that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, we'll definitely go and sort her out. Only thing wrong with a webcam is it's your ugly bridge on it, you cheeky fuck. Right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you at 7 o'clock. Love you, bye.